Hello, and welcome to this episode of Emacs. Uh, today we're going to look at Expand Region. Expand Region was uh, suggested to me on my I Do in Helm video by a user called Alifox. Uh, they added a comment and said I should check it out. I That day I uh, installed the package, I tried it, and I really like it, so I thought I'd share it with you. So thanks to Alifox for pointing me in that direction. Um, so expand region is uh, it's an extension to increase selected region by semantic units. What does that mean? So in the example here, if we if the um, if the text or if we have a file with this text in it, so some elisp, if the cursor is on the C character, if you expand the region, it will then select the word. If you expand the region again, it will select everything between the quotes. If you expand the region again, it will select everything including the quotes. If you expand again, it will select everything inside the parenthesis. And if you expand again, it will select the entire parenthesis. So this also works for um, um, so paragraphs as well, or blocks of code for some languages. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just install it and have a look. Um, so I'll just, I'll just put it at the bottom for now. So if we, um, so this is going to be, uh, expand region. We want to begin, whoa, begin, begin source Emacs Lisp. So we're going to use, um, we're going to use use package as we always do for these things. So we want to uh, use package expand region. Um, and we want to ensure that it's installed. And at that point, if we just execute that, uh, we can, well, first of all, let's, um, let's get a screen key on. So at this point, if we, here's some test text, some of it is quoted. So if we go inside the quoted text here and we um, just run, uh, everything's prefixed with ER, it's worth mentioning. So ER expand region. There we go. And if we do it again, go to the quotes, do it again, go in within the parentheses, do it again, include the parentheses, do it again, get the entire line. Uh, so there is also ER, um, what is it, con contract region. So we just go back and we, we should go back to, whoop, if we do it enough times, we go back to the letter T, which was the original thing that we selected. So, you know, it has that kind of full history of going backwards and forwards, which is great. Um, so that's working, but obviously we want to bind it to something. We want to make it easier to do. Uh, in the documentation to the left there, you'll see that uh, the example says uh, to, to assign it to C equals. Um, and then they also say, you know, if you, if you want to contract the region, you can do minus as well. And that is what I did. And actually, because there's nothing assigned to those keys um, by default in Emacs, it's it works really well it's not that some you know extreme key combination of you know like some of the projectile ones control x p p t seven whatever um obviously that's an extreme example but you get the point okay so and then this one wants to be contract region that's closed that's closed so everything is like yeah let's just move that okay so if we execute that and we go to our O this time. If I do control equals, expand, 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 and it goes to the entire line. If I keep doing it, it'll go, you know, just to get everything, it gets the entire file. You know, if you keep clicking, pressing it, if you keep expanding the region, um, and I can go all the way back down to the O. Great. So if I just open up our test project and I open up app.py, I can go into um, into here and I can expand the region get this and it's like okay doing something that's great um, actually I don't want this uh, I don't want this to be process something I want this to be um, just a print saying printing uh, and then actually do I want this do I want the main do I want it to auto execute 
Mm, nah, so I can just select that entire block and delete. So as you can see, very powerful, works for lots of different applications or lots of different languages. I don't, you know what I mean, by applications. Um, super useful and I'm really thankful for the for the, the pointer to check it out. Um, Alifox has also suggested that I look into um, some other things like advanced movement, which I'll get into at some point. I need to commit that stuff to, to my muscle memory before I kind of talk about it because you know, I feel as though it's a bit awkward if I'm trying to talk about something that I literally don't use, um, which is why I wanted to do this video because I have started using expand region and I am finding it really useful. Um, it is worth noting that there are quite a few different, um, I don't know what all of these do, there's quite a few different functions uh, that come with expand region. I don't really understand what some of these do, I haven't looked at them, I haven't tried them, um, so you know you might want to have a look. I think they're kind of just shortcuts to get to these semantic meanings, so like mark word, word mark text sentence, uh, mark python block and decorator, so if you have uh, a decorator which is uh, like above the function definition in python you have an at and then you know a function that well if you know python you know what i mean uh so it can expand to select all of that which is good so that seems to be org mode and python related and emails so you know I, like i say i haven't looked into any of these other things i've just used expand region contract region and honestly they're working fine for me um and the last thing to uh note with this is here yeah, there's the maintenance warning so magnus he is or she uh, they are only maintaining it for themselves so if you go to the top you'll see that there isn't any issue tracking or anything like that they're not accepting issues i think you can uh, there seems to be yeah you can do a pull request so if you make a change that you want to see you can do a pull request and you know they might merge it in but currently they're just yeah i use the package every day and have been doing so for years you know it just works and even if Magnus stopped accepting pull requests, stopped updating the code, um, the, the functionality that's there now, the basic expand and contract region, should just continue to work. So, you know, I sometimes I'd be a little bit um, hesitant to tell people to um, install a package that I feel may um, may be discontinued at some point, and you know. It means that users would be abandoned or you know emacs gets updated to a different version that um you know breaks the functionality of these over older uh packages but it seems that this package for me and for what it does it seems fairly simple it's based on like the actual text in a buffer rather than some emacs deep rooted features so i don't have much um hesitation in recommending it I am not an uh, an expert in Emacs. I need to reiterate that. Um, you know, there are a lot of things that I don't know. I'm still learning. Uh, I really do appreciate comments. I wouldn't have found Expand Region. Well, I might have done, but definitely not as quickly without Alifox's kind of input and a comment. So I'd, I'd, I'd really like people to uh, comment on my videos and point me in the directions of things. So, you know, if, if, if it's useful and I use it, I will show everyone else. And if there's things that, you know, I'm struggling with other people are struggling with you know we can kind of crowdsource finding a solution um because you know I, i'm going to do my my next video is going to be um related to term mode it's just going to be a sh little script that i wrote um but it might be useful to other people and you know we can have a discussion about it we can talk about emacs in, on this forum um and you know like it's good to get feedback uh with that being said thank you very much for watching if you uh did like or do like my videos consider liking them uh consider subscribing it does actually help the channel um surprisingly you know just um it's it's interesting in the last month or so my viewership has kind of hockey sticked a bit and i think that's because more and more as more people watch it and there's more subscribers and more people like then you know that also kind of makes the youtube algorithm kind of push my content to more people i don't know um because you know ideally I, a lot of this is about i want to learn more about emacs and i want to explore emacs more and to do that kind of need the help of other people's help it's kind of hard to get through all of the material on your own um so yeah the more people that are watching hopefully the more people that comment the more 
investigations we can do, the more things we can find together and move forward. And essentially, selfishly, the more I can learn about Emacs and and, and useful uh, packages. Um, the same can be said for library. If you're on library, if you don't know what library is, uh, go to lbry.tv and have a look. Um, I I also put some videos on there exclusively on there that's specifically about the library TV platform. Um, and yeah, if you're on library, tip, follow YouTube, like and subscribe and comment, comment on both. And that's about it. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for listening to me rant. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, cheers. Bye.